We're writing the year 1961 in post-war Germany. The Second World War has left deep scars in the population of the country, and people are struggling to rebuild what once was. Politicians are trying at all costs to keep the people together as world tension rises to a new conflict with the upcoming event known as the Cuban Missile Crisis and the following Cold War. We now know that the Soviet Union, not content with Dr. Castro's oath of fealty, not content with the destruction of Cuban independence, not content with the extension of Soviet power into the Western... It is in this time that not politicians get the idea. The in the years between 1955 as late as 1968, West Germany and the Eastern Bloc Germany, also known as the German Democratic Republic, signed multiple recruitment agreements with countries all over the world in order to rebuild their home with flint labor. This is where you come in. In the year 1990, shortly after the fall of the Iron Curtain, you play in the skin of a man known as Splat and go on a journey across the Balkan with Uncle Lifty in an old and rusty Leica, which is a car based on the infamous Trabant. But first of all, hey y'all, Murderfox here, and welcome to another episode of Games in 10 Minutes. I am glad the most recent video on Infra was received so well, so today we're going to talk about the game called Jalopy by the studio Minsk Works. But more to that after the intro. The premise of Jalopi is that you and your uncle are two Germans with Turkish descent. From the former recruited worker force that we talked about earlier, Turkey played a big part in helping rebuilding Germany, East Germany in this case. Now that the Iron Curtain has fallen, your uncle wants to return to his origin back to Turkey, in hopes that your passports will bring you as far. He's been preparing for it for years, trying to get a car to attempt the long and hard journey. And now is finally the time. Uncle Lifty managed to acquire a Leica and as you'll find it later, not under the most legal terms, but he still did it, the mad lad. And now you're about to embark on a journey that will change your view in Europe fully, from the view of men without borders. As you journey along for procedurally generated sceneries like East Germany, the Czech Republic, Hungary and more to come, you find out more and more about your yet so distant uncle and his role in the Eastern Bloc, teasing you with a letter of his lifetime every time you reach a new country and sleep in the motel by ever so awkwardly presenting it to you in an open briefcase. Jalopi tells you a story of the change of tide, the old world falling apart and the new one being born. You see the change as you journey across Europe with your final goal to bring your uncle back home so he can finish his last journey and bring the ashes of a close relative and himself to their home country. Along this journey you will pick up how your uncle saw the old world, telling you stories of his adventures and the rumors of the times. Generally, the gameplay of Jalopi consists of living what the road gives you as you venture your journey.
you'll find crates and other broken down vehicles along the road as you go. Those sometimes may contain vehicle parts or wares which sometimes depending on the country and random selection may count as contraband and will get impounded at the border control. As I already mentioned, you can find vehicle parts. This game has a fairly simple car modification minigame. Your car parts will get used over time and lose in quality or break. So you need to constantly maintain stuff like your engine or fuel tank, or replace it with better parts by upgrading it with found parts or buying them at a Leica shop. Also important to remember is to find out the correct fuel mixture as you gotta mix diesel and oil yourself. There are multiple options as for all those such inside your fuel, and depending on how much you choose, you will get buffs like extra speed or extra engine lifetime. You get to sell what you found along the road at a fuel station during or at the end of each country's journey. There you will al also get different prices for wares, and if you take a look at the local newspaper you can figure out what wares are desperately needed in the neighboring country, and thus buy them cheap and sell them for a profit there. To open crates, you will also need the according tools, but don't worry, the fuel station will provide. So you can instantly sell it at the fuel station while the shopkeeper gives you the look. But you know, the customer is king. Now Jalopy is a commendable game for the calm and intuitive gameplay and its attention to detail like the working radio or other little gimmicks that your car has. But there's also some negative parts about the game. It's buggy. I have to this point not managed to finish the game because I would constantly fall through the map and encounter game breaking bugs. You really gotta stick to the game mechanics that get explained along the way and not try any creative stuff because otherwise your car may shoot itself to the moon. Oh well, you'll become SCP-106. Please turn the wipers on, they're broken, Dad! 
Now, to sum this up, Jungle P is a very creative and unusual indie game that astonishes players to this day with its gameplay and its unusual yet deep and interesting story. We have two interesting characters on this journey and the point of the game is something that gets forgotten way too often, so I am glad that this game reminds people of it. Personally, I would recommend that you buy it if you have the spare cash. On record, my partner took around 5 hours to complete the game on a rush. You can pick up the game for really cheap on key reseller sites or when it's on sale on Steam again. Was aus Deutschland wird, hängt davon ab, was wir daraus machen. Wenn wir nicht den Trends nachlaufen, die ohne nationale Erinnerung die nationale Zukunft gestalten wollen. In diesem Sinne, liebe Hörer, wünsche ich Ihnen für die Zukunft alles Gute und Gesundheit. Zum Abschluss dieser Sendung nun noch einmal die Nationalhymne der DDR, die in den letzten Jahren vor unseren Sendungen und als Pausenzeichen erklang, in der Originalfassung. Zuvor verabschiede ich mich aus dem Berliner Funkhaus. Tschüss, sagt Katja Rote. A special thank you again goes to Xenocloth, formerly known as Torrente, for creating the stills that are seen throughout the video. And of course, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving a like. If not, leave a dislike. And be sure to give feedback in the comments below. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe and share the video on social platforms and with your friends. It helps encouraging me to keep this format alive. And I'll see y'all next time. Have a good one.